Hi y'all, I recently visited the Initial Q located in downtown Spartanburg, South Carolina. When you walk up and you see this sign, just know you're getting ready to go to a smokehouse, but not only a smokehouse, whoo boy, it's, it's a good one. This is a very good one. So y'all, let's take this journey with me. When you walk in, you see the beautiful decor, see the beautiful bar. I'm gonna go to the bar and I'm gonna start my day off with a drink. The first drink I had was the Berry Hibernation. This is Stoli Blueberry Vodka, St. George Raspberry, Blackberry Cordial, Cranberry Juice, and then Lime Juice. Everything paired together, it was a great drink. Very good, thumbs up, you see it. Next, while I sit and try to decide what I want to eat, they brought out the pork skins and they paired the pork skins with four barbecue sauces, okay? The pork skins by themselves were very good, warm and very, very good. The barbecue sauce was old red, which is tomato based. That's a smoky with apple cider vinegar. Two is a yellow, which is their version of the Carolina Gold, sweet and tangy. Three is bourbon molasses. And four is the honey habanero, which is hot, sweet, and savory. Personally, I like number four. But if you want to go through all the details, I took the liberty of posting it for you. Pause it, read it. All of them are very good, but I love that number four. Next, I had the feeling peachy. This is kettle one orange and peach blossom, peach puree, lemon juice, and sparkling wine. This was a very good drink. Look at the pinky action. Look at that. Very good drink. The sparkling wine is what put it over the top. Wonderful. Loved it. Okay. I usually don't post my menus, but maybe that's something I should do. Let me know. But this is restaurant week three for 35, so I decided to post it. Let's get into it. First thing I had was the smoked ahi tuna. The green sauce you see is the avocado cucumber emulsion. Next you see the sriracha, sweet soy reduction, and barbecue wontons. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen well. The smoke on this tuna was fantastic. Some of the best smoked tuna I've had. And then you pair it with the sauce. The only downside to this dish, I wish I had more wontons because the wontons themselves were amazing. Excellent choice. They, they did this right. Very good. Next, I had the smoked confit duck leg. Okay. Now look at this. All right. This is pumpkin Florentine souffle cream corn with fried spinach. Listen, that pumpkin Florentine souffle, the, li, hold on, hold on. The duck was remarkable. The smoke on the duck, the flavors, everything was good. The corn was good. But that Florentine souffle, it kind of put you in the mind of a dressing, but with pumpkin. Oh, my. Woo, woo, woo. It was good. Listen, okay, okay, okay. Enough of that. Next, use. I, this is a bread pudding. This is Reese's Krispy Kreme bread pudding. I'm not a bread pudding guy. I'm not. These people figured out a way to take Krispy Kreme donuts and make a bread pudding out of it. And then they topped it with Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Ice Cream. Initial Q, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. You, you, that's wrong. What, it, 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 that was too good. When they brought it out, I was sitting there like, what is this? They say, look, if you don't like it, send it back. It, amazing. Oh, my goodness. Every bite was a Krispy Kreme donut. And then you have the nerve to put the Reese's peanut butter cup with real Reese's now in the ice cream. Look, y'all got to try this. You just just go try it. Do it now. Stop what you're doing. Go try it. Initial Q, Spomberg, South Carolina. Also, make sure you like, comment, follow, share, subscribe. Do everything. Be